This is Brendan Dooley, one of New Zealand's finest magicians. In fact, in 2015, Brendan was awarded New Zealand's best comedy magician. And somehow, I convinced him to talk with me on Skype. Happy days. How's your day going, man? Good. How's your day going? Oh, it's Wednesday, you know, getting there. <laughs> yeah. I think my, like, the hour show I was doing in Melbourne, I think had six tricks. It's kind of like it's all the entertainment value, the banter, the interaction that freaking makes it, you know? So, like, my opening moment is um, I walk up to a group and my line is, um, hey, guys, I'm your professional interrupter tonight. How am I doing so far? It's a good intro. It's- yeah, so that's a guy called Gregory Wilson. He's someone you need to look at. He's one of my favorites. I'm a big lover of callbacks and running gags and like making things flow. Yep. Like it's all those little things that make everything a show compared to just trick, trick, trick. Just got enough a call with Nick Kay. And I'd mentioned you. I was like, just because I was saying how impressed I was the fact, you know, day two in, you're already out on the street approaching people going, let me show you a trick. I know people who have been doing magic for three years and they would never have the balls in their life to do that. I mean, for what it's worth, I was shitting myself. <laughs> oh, exactly. But see, that's awesome, you know? But the fact you still did it, that's I... not a small achievement, you know? Like, that, that takes some balls. Audiences, like, the big thing that audiences love is surprise. Um, they don't want to know what's coming. You know, it's kind of like you've got these skills and stuff and things that no one else can be doing. Why don't you integrate them? It's a good idea. Um, I mean, I guess I don't know how you would integrate video production into magic. Potentially, you could do one of those tricks where the payoff is a pre-recorded video, something to that exactly. extent. Exactly. You could, you could do a prediction. It's a video of you and you pass an object through the screen. You know, it's like you have a deck of cards and then it like vanishes from your hand on the screen and it appears in your hands on stage. But it's those types of things, they add production value. Initially, I thought succeeding would mean just simply performing, but now I realize it's me creating a performance that is from in here. Absolutely, and I think it's just like not just from in there, it's kind of like that's true to you. That, like, you know, something mm. you should be proud of, you know? It's a damn good skill it's to like, have. It's, it's those little things, it's, it's a powerful skill to have that adds value to an everyday interaction, especially if it's good. Brendan and I then spent a decent amount of time working on some specific card movements. Now, in the interests of secrecy, I won't be divulging exactly what this is, but you get the idea. Sit in front of a TV for an hour and while you're watching a TV show, just be flipping it. Just be doing bloody bum. Just do it again and again until it becomes second nature. Like, I got my ground doing kids' birthdays. Like, that... Kids, birthdays, and street shows are the best freaking learning tool in magic. Because it's like you just get shut down and rejected and you have to learn how to manage an audience. Brendan had some really good suggestions on things I could buy and look at. Once again, I won't be saying what they are specifically. You get the idea though. Yeah, uh, so bottle cap, uh, Coke bottle. Let's try something here. So, um, bottle cap. Uh, So it's three, two, one. So then the way I see it happening is by seven or eight weeks I would have the framework of my performance there uh-huh. and then I want to reach out to you guys and be like do the full performance yeah and then we can give you our feedback absolutely you'd be like man that was the shittest thing I have ever seen <laughs> <laughs> exactly what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard so I can do the change um, and then I can come back home with the deck and pick up the second card. So there's little things like that and whatever, but it's like, it's not the best change out there. There's a lot better changes. I think we've like, we've clocked two hours, which has been awesome. I haven't even had lunch, so I reckon this is the- so get some food down here. I'm gonna go track down some dinner, so. You're a legend, man. I seriously appreciate you taking the time. This has been very, very helpful. I'm glad, man. Drop me a line if you have any questions. Yeah, like for the next few weeks, there's no reason why we can't do a weekly catch up or something like that if you need it. If you got time, bro, I, that'd be amazing. Kill it, dude. All right, man. Take care. Thanks again. No worries, bro. You have a good one. Talk to you very soon. You.